And just like that, I'm moving on. Um, yeah, besides the rocks, like my backpack, uh, I do feel a bit lighter. Like everything that I was thinking and carrying with me, like like personally and stuff, I feel like that has left. And it's not like one of those just like hippie kind of mentality, whatever kind of thing. Um, so I do feel like placing the rocks definitely put out like all the negative stuff or whatever that I've been carrying throughout this trip. Um, yeah, so today I'm going to prom for dad. I think it's like another kind of like a small city, town kind of thing. So, 27K, so we'll see you there. As I'm walking through <clears throat> forest now, there's creek, shade, it's pretty nice. Probably today is probably my favorite day so far, even though it was up and then it was down. It's kind of gradual, it wasn't that hard. The mountains here are kind of lame <laughs> compared to uh, Canadian mountains, I guess and the stuff I've climbed. As you can see that it says Alex. I'm famous here. And there's also writing in Paris that said Alex. And so, just everywhere, you just walking by me, I guess. I just, they know I'm coming. I'm that famous. Um, I am in Montsepolis, Montse place, something. Something Spanish starts with an M. I've arrived <coughs> in Pramfadada, whatever. Two o'clock. There's a donation place I'm gonna try and go to. And yeah, they have like a cool castle here, I'm pretty sure. And then a couple of museums, so I'm gonna check those out. Called Saint Nicholas something. It's a donation alberga, and I plan to stay here. This is the castle, the Knights Templar. I'm pretty sure it's called. The entrance kind of looks like a kids kind of attraction, amusement thing just as flags, but this one's four euros. Um, I got the Pilgrim's discount, or else it'd be 10, I think. And then I got a little guidebook, I guess. And this room used to be the bathroom. And there's a grate there. And I guess they just go down the grate. Okay, so I'm in the park now. It's called Park <coughs> oh, Planto. So plants. I don't know. They have peacocks in the middle of the park. It's like a little zoo. Can't feel bad for them. Okay, it's almost eight o'clock. I'm leaving. Pawn for dad. 
Um, yeah, donation place is pretty nice. The guy I was with didn't snore. And there's only the two of us, so that's pretty nice. The building looks like it's from a, like a villain or something. I kind of if I remember right it's from the Phineas and Ferb. Kind of looks like that, guys. Layer. Here I am. 198.5 kilometers left. Santiago. It's going by fast. <sighs> Almost dropped my phone. Too fast. I have arrived in the town of Villafranca. Um, it's 1.30. I think I'm just gonna stay here because I'm pretty sure the next stage is like all uphill. And these mountains look a bit more scary. This town, the Villa Franca or whatever is supposedly um, the most beautiful town in Spain. That's what he said. And it is pretty nice. They have like four or five of like these old cell buildings and then they have this like super nice park which I'm gonna go down to. It's like almost nicer than the Paris Gardens. I'd say it's almost as nice, maybe even a bit more, and it's in this tiny town. This is the park <coughs> that I was talking about. All kinds of flowers. Those like white ones kind of look like wheat. Those are probably my favorite plants of trip I guess. Got some roses. I don't know, my sister would know what kind of fancy they are. Mouchus curuses, sapus e bruxas. Demos tres dulce de años. Peregrinos que andan al engaño buscando refugios con sauna, piscina y baño. Peregrinos que se que ahora y aquí todos sus amigos que están por aquí pero un anco no se le está queimada, pero que nada más vengan en espíritu se los dejan sin nada. Y cuando ese verbaje baje por las nuestras gorsas, quedaremos libres de todos los malos espíritus y de todo el bruchamiento. Amén. because the other one is quite intense. You go through like three peaks, I think, and they're like huge mountains. 
well, huge here, I guess, like 1,300 meters. Um, <coughs> yeah, so I'm not gonna be able to do that. Yes, I'm, I'm doing the smaller one. And I think today is 28 kilometers. Um, hopefully I get a bed because it's in the book, in the guidebook it said, it's a place where a lot of pilgrims start. Um, yeah. Took me about 45 minutes. But I finally made it to the top. Um, I think that was 1.8 miles. Yeah, but... It's really not that hard. It's, yeah, hold up. So I would, yeah, if you have the chance, and if you're up to it, then I would recommend going up that to Pajira, I think it's called. So, yeah. Okay, so we're walking along this road. And it's kind of sketchy, because before there wasn't this sidewalk here. So it's just a little bit of grass separating you from the, the road and I guess people in this part of Spain don't like to pull over because if I were to stick my hand out I would have hit the cars. So and on this stage it's um, the towns are like super close together that they're, they're they're like two kilometers apart. Um, I haven't hit the uphill yet. <clears throat> but it's coming. To take back saying <laughs> these mountains are lame. It's just so steep. I'm just, eh, I'm tired. Nice view. Entered Galicia. Yay. Okay, the time is 7 p.m. Hospital del de Corseta con Tessa. Um, around six, so I've been here for an hour. But I took, yeah, my um, fear that came true that I was saying in the morning that I hope I get a room. Um, yeah, I didn't get a room. <clears throat> so I had to walk an extra. Five, six k, which wasn't too bad, but it was all uphill. Um, so very tiring. Um, yeah, luckily got this place. Um, I'll take a vid. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll show you. But yeah, there's only one other person here when we got here, and. <clears throat> Yeah, got lucky.
found a stick. So that's cool. Yeah, and the, the way markers here in Galicia are different than the ones in Leon. I arrived. Um, it's about 2 p.m. And the next town's like 15 kilometers away. Or like the next bed, pretty much, without spending 20 to 60 euros. <coughs> uh, the next like cheap one is 15 kilometers away. And there's no way I'm doing that. So I'm going to stay here and check out that monster. This little park. There's an ant. Um, yeah, but just as I have like, I have like four, four days left maybe. If I go kind of like 30, 40 kilometers a day until Santiago and then an extra three or four days until Festeria. But as I get closer, my mind and my body is like, I really <laughs> don't want to do this anymore. So I'm looking forward to finally completing this. Um, not just because I'm in the physical pain and I just want a break, but because I've learned a lot and <clears throat> I guess just being able to say that I've hiked across Spain is going to be pretty cool. Okay, so this tree is a cypress tree and apparently it's um, a thousand years old and it's one of the 50 most important trees in Spain this one right here pretty honored to see this but a thousand years old <laughs> pretty cool